Okay, race nine. Thanks for those uh, calls there, Martin. Now there's a three mile sky bet handicap chase in 0 to 140. Number one, Black Prince, David Robson. Two, Lawley, Sound for Darren Thompson. Three, Blind Faith, Kevin Meanhan, along with chapter one, number four. Five, another world for Carl Arrogante. Six is Stu Gray for Del Hinton. Seven is Wormhead for Pontypool Racing. Eight is Pace Ashton Mall for Martin Leader. Nine is This Is Where the Fish Live for Obi Wan. And ten is De Angelus of James Father. So just ten. Let's go around those three miles here at Doncaster. The start has gone on my way. Let's see how we fare. Still Hinton's new silks on the outside there in the pink black sleeves and the pink uh, stars or dots or something similar. It's taken up the lead now from another world against the fence. Another two Kevin Mina Hanos' Blind Faith and Chapter 1 as they get to the first and they're all over it. The one out wide here is Pace Ashton Lord in the... I'm not quite sure if that's a purple silk, but I guess it is. Although tucking himself back in. Been very unlucky and unfortunate. Horses pulled up and three of you. Oh, we've lost one of the second, and it's another world that's gone. So, uh, bad luck there, Carl. But as I was saying about Martin's horse, it's pulled up three in its last four races. So, let's see how it gets on here. But up front, it's Stu Gray that leads into the third. Poor jump at it. Pecked well on landing, but the jockey's managed to hang on. The loose horse just coming alongside him now. But the US horse, this is where the fish live. So in that little is worm head and all they sound. The fence is uh, the Black Prince. One in the rear, sorry, just be in front of Pace Ashton Lord. Oh, and we've lost him. The Black Prince has gone now as well. So we're down two after four. So Stu Gray leads us. By a length or so to Blind Faith and all they sound out wide in between those as come back towards the fences to Angelus in chapter one. And around Clutterbuck's Wormhead. And this is where the fish live. Just at the rear is Pace Ashton and Lord. That's probably where he gets pulled up a lot. He's right at the back. Although no front runners in this, I'm starting to think maybe this year we've had a phenomenal amount of pull ups all over the six. And I certainly think there's more pull ups this year than there has been. And maybe it's down to the front running horses. Obviously, John's plenty of front runners. Carl's plenty of front runners. And Alex with his plenty of front runners. I wonder if most of the hunt has been. Uh, Caused by that, but it'll be interesting. Anyway, back to this race. We're inside two miles, and Stu Gray takes him past the winning post and leads by a couple to Blind Faith. And they're five away from De Angelis and Lawley Sound in chapter one. And you've got Wormhead just bobbing around at the back there, and Pace Ash and all at the rear. And yeah, pull up zones coming up, although we've lost a couple of horses, and it's quite a small field, and there is no front runner. They're over the water. Maybe no pull-ups this time, Martin. You might be lucky. But still up front is Stu Gay. <laughs> Stu Gay, Stu Gray from Blind Faith. It's disgusting. And oh, oh we lost another. Another world's gone. Oh no, sorry, this time it's De Angelis. Oh, poor calling here. But it's Stu Gray and Blind Faith together now. And in between those, I think the loose horse or the loose horse disappeared. Now the loose horse is still in there. Which I think is Black Prince. But they're about six ahead. Wormhead. They all skip over the tenth now. Oh, you got another eight to jump. Is there a mile and a quarter to travel? But it's Blind Faith and Stu Gray together. Finally, managing to shake off the loose horse of Black Prince. And they're all still five to six lengths ahead of Worm Wormhead. This is where the fish list law lay sounds. Chapter one and Peace, Peace Ashton Lord all still together. And up front, still Blind Faith and Stu Gray. Faith and Stu Gray go together. So it's as we were. No change. Nobody's made any ground up. And the leaders are Gray and Faith lead by about six to seven still. Well, there are no pull ups in this race so far, which is very unusual for a three mile race. Going to the twelfth is over it. Martin must be uh, licking his lips here with his horse not pulling up. But it's Blind Faith and Stu Gray still by seven. To the Morley Sound Pace Ashton Lord Wormhead. Chapter one and this is where the fish live all together. Get over the 13th. And out of the pack finally comes a bit of a challenge and it's Wormhead to try and shorten the gap to the leaders. 
Stu Gray pushes off in front a little bit more and takes a length from Blind Faith. Then we're about four back now to Wormhead. Chapter one's running on well. They're all over the 14th and it's still Stu Gray just by a length from Blind Faith. And then about three back to Wormhead. Chapter one on the outside. This is where the fish is making up a little bit of ground and Pace Ashton Lord and Morley sound at the rear. Still four furlongs to travel, so half a mile to go. And they're all starting to close up a little bit now. So Stu Gray gets over that best of all. There's only going to be three to jump, so it's Stu Gray from Blind Faith. Wormhead making a good move on the inside, and better still is Pace Ashton Lord. But the one that's going backwards now is Blind Faith. But up front, Stu Gray still leads over the 16th. Two to jump, three from home. It's Stu Gray leads by a couple to Wormhead. Pace Ashton and Lord running on well. Chapter one still there. Lawley sounds trying to get into it, and as is this is where the fish lives. We're inside the two furlongs now, but it's still Stu Gray. Never been headed. Gets over this penultimate, but no, it's Wormhead that noses in front now. So Wormhead on the outside. Is Pace Ashton Lord, Stu Gray still running on, on the inside and running inside the furlong now. And it's Stu Gray and Pace Ashton Lord from chapter one running on well now. Is Lawley Sounder over the last? And Pace Ashton Lord gets away from it better than Stu Gray in chapter one. And it's going to be a win for Pace Ashton Lord. The pull up master is going to take this for Martin. Well done. Wins it from Lawley. I think a good running on second. Lawley Sound. I think Stu Gray was third. So I win for Martin there. We deserved it. So Pace Ashton Lord takes it for Martin. Second was Stu Gray for Del Hinton. Third was Lawley Sound for Darren Thompson. Fourth was Chapter One for Kevin Meenan. And fifth was Wormhead for Pontypool Racing.